Do you have the burning desire to turn your plastic parts into something that looks more like steel? Me too. I started out with a light coat of the bright silver and I'm just letting those brush strokes show through because we're gonna get kind of a little bit more of a brushed metal texture. I am painting the backs of these pieces also because they're gonna show a little bit in some places. I'm using burnt umber and black and then maybe mixing in a little bit of like a darker silver in there just for some variety. Using like the coarsest brush, but it's perfect for when you want all that texture versus when you want something really smooth. Build up layers. Part of the goal is to make it look like it's weathered over time. One way of achieving that is to weather it over time. A much shorter period, of course. I actually did get this too dark the first time around. When I checked back to the miniature gauntlet I did before and I saw how bright that one was, I was like, uh, actually kind of like that better. So I went back in with more of the silver and just brought back out those bright tones. I'm gonna use the outdoor sealer as always. I'm using a softer brush for this as opposed to the really not so nice brush that works well for adding all the textures. If you start going over areas that have already started drying, then you're gonna end up kind of starting to pull it up and most likely pulling the paint up with it. There comes a point when you just have to stop and let it dry once that starts. I'm using kind of like this burnt orange sort of color and then just some browns, blacks in there, just dabbing that on, wiping some of it off carefully with a paper towel. You really just have to work with it until you get something that kind of looks like rust. Sometimes it's actually really interesting just to look and see what real rust looks like, and that gives you something kind of to work towards. I still see the bright silver uh, along these areas, but I've added kind of the more rusty dark colors more towards the center. Towards the bases of all the finger plates, to me it just looked better to kind of darken those. So when you have this plate here and it's bright at the tip and then dark at the bottom and then you take this other plate and you lay it on top, then the bright tip of this plate is kind of set off by that shadowed area on the plate underneath it. All the weathering has dried. I'm adding another coat of sealer and now I just have to do the same thing for this whole bin of all the other pieces. For the brightest brights, just go back in with that plain bright silver, brushing this onto the areas that are meant to be highlights, just to bring them back out a little bit better. The general direction is if it's a raised surface to where it's gonna be polished maybe by fabric or whatever, that's gonna have more of a bright silver on it. So this is steel, and this is the painted 3D printed part. So we have made plastic look like steel. Now this is more weathered than this one. If you leave this outside to kind of corrode for a little while, probably gonna end up with something like this. Yeah, I can do thumbs up in the... Thanks for hanging out today and I'll see you again soon.